This is the central sewage treatment plant located here in Wupa district and it is built to accommodate the sewage collected from phases 1, 2 and 3 of the federal capital city. The plant since inception runs on 24-7 diesel power. But the head of quality control laboratory, Michael Ayeni, says efforts are in top gear to provide direct power for the plant to enable all the machines to perform maximally and to save costs. The minister of the FCT has already came to our head in terms of power to actually step down uh, the direct uh, power from here, interrup un uninterrupted power into this plant so that we can start enjoying the power. The design capacity of the plant is 700,000, which is expandable to 1 million in terms of population. A plant of this magnitude, Michael believes, should be able to generate its own electricity from the end product of the sewage known as biomass. But the sewage inflow from the city is below the capacity of the plant due to setbacks resulting from collapsed manholes and blockages within the connecting sewer lines. When the flow increases, so we'll be able to use all the machineries and we'll be able to generate more biomass. When you generate more biomass, then you can talk about biodigester, whereby you generate your own, you generate uh, biogas. And from that, you can be able to now install the, uh, what's it called, the turbine that will turn into power, that's gas turbine. At the plant, after the wastewater goes through numerous technical processes, the treated water is thoroughly disinfected and released into the Wupa River. In Abuja, Toiba and Ifoshi, NTA News.